countrywide unrest, an internet blackout that cut Iranians off from the rest of the world. But now it's time for political engagement. They have to be aged between 30 and 75 and hold at least a master's degree. Potential candidates are then vetted by the Guardian Council, a constitutional watchdog. The protest followed an increase in fuel prices and took place in 29 out of the 31 provinces, according to officials. It's unclear how many people died during the demonstrations. Amnesty International puts the figure at 161, with thousands arrested. The Iranian government says those figures are exaggerated. The unrest has prompted the Guardian Council to reconsider their approach to the elections, which are scheduled for February 21st. We don't consider ourselves immune from criticism. We may also accept that mistakes have been made in the past. But for the next legislative elections, we're trying to reduce our mistakes and respect the rights of candidates. Analysts predict a lower voter turnout compared with previous elections, partly due to disappointment in the failure of President Hassan Rouhani's reformists to achieve meaningful change. But for the 290 seats available, there's still considerable interest. My purpose is to serve the people and improve their lives. I think all the prospective candidates have the same goal. If their numbers have grown compared to recent years, it's because they want to help other citizens to live in better conditions. I was a member of parliament in three previous terms and now I want to stand again. I'm here to bring welfare to the people and to minimise the economic problems the country is grappling with. In 2016, the council allowed more than 6,000 candidates to stand, around half of all those who submitted applications. The country has experienced some of the most widespread demonstrations it's seen in decades. And by allowing more candidates to stand, the political establishment here is hoping for more people to turn out at the polls and to restore some level of confidence in the political system here. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera, Tehran.